Hi, I'm Christoph, and today I'm going to show you how to make this stylized grass. Um, I've been watching some uh, Ghibli movies lately, and also my girlfriend has been playing uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Really love this type of type of grass. And I also saw this grass that apparently was in uh, real time. This is in a game engine made by uh, some Jo. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but uh, this looks lovely. It looks like it's painted. So I wanted to make my own version of it, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So this is what the end result looks like in Blender. This is the render, and this is uh, photoshopped and post-processed. So this is the end result, and uh, I'm really glad with how that looks. So let's get started. So let's start by opening a new Blender file. We're going to delete the cube, delete the light. I'm going to add a plane. And this is going to be the surface for our grass. Let's call this one surface. And then we're going to add a second plane. And this is going to be our grass. So let's call this grass. Let's go to the shader editor. And first, let's start with the surface. I'm going to add a new material. Delete the principal. And I'm going to add an emission shader. Next up, I'm going to take this grass texture and drag it into Blender. This is going to provide the different colors. So you can paint any color you want here. And uh, that's it for the surface. For the grass, we are going to use the same material, but we're going to duplicate it. We're going to add something. Going to add input texture coordinates UV. Going to connect it to the vector. And we're going to check the from instancer. The only problem right now is that Blender only supports this in cycles and not in EV. So I'm going to change the cycles. What this does is actually that once we add particles, all of the particles will uh, get the colors from the surface. And it's going, it's going to look good. So let's go to our surface. Let's add a particle system. Let's add about 5,000 particles. Uh, I'm going to end on frame one. Lifetime, well, as long as you need the grass, let's put it to 500. Let's go to the render tab. Go to object and instance our grass. And then here, it's a scale. I'm going to put it to 1. I'm going to check global coordinates and object rotation. So now we can rotate our grass. And this will rotate all of the grass. Now, of course, this doesn't look like grass. So we're going to have to make it transparent. So let's add this alpha layer. So let's import this alpha layer. I'm going to add a mix shader. To the grass. We're going to add a transparent shader. And then the alpha is connected to the FAC. Okay, so we've got these black lines, and to avoid these, we go to the render properties and light paths where it says transparency. I'm going to add 200. Well, it's 
still got black, so let's make it 400. And just to keep render time down. Also going to lower the sampling for now. It's going to lower the quality, but it's going to make it easier. And now we can turn the grass until it's not upside down anymore. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's starting to look like something. Uh, I'm going to make the grass a bit smaller so we can just click on the grass and downsize it. And this should work. Yep, that looks good. Now, one more thing we can add is we can add rotation. And then randomize this a tiny bit. OK. And that's it. So I really like the look of this. I'm also going to show you a more saturated version. Um, if you would like to add shadows, you basically paint in the shadows in your texture and that should give a good result. I'm going to share the blend files with you so look for that in the description and if you have ideas how this would work in Eevee or how to optimize this uh, let me know. I think you would also be able to add some uh, some flowers or other objects but for now this grass looks really good. So I hope you enjoyed it and talk to you later.